For Charlie Gard and his parents Chris and Connie, this is borrowed time. After doctors at Great Ormond Street Hospital postponed their court-approved decision to switch off his life support. The team treating him say he can't be moved, despite a request from the Vatican Children's Hospital. Following prayers and support offered by the Pope, the hospital's president said today that she'd spoken to Charlie's mum. She described her as strong and determined and unwilling to give up, but explained that doctors in the UK won't permit the transfer. Great Ormond Street say Charlie's rare genetic condition is terminal and has damaged his brain, sight, hearing and heart. He can't breathe or move unaided. His parents' long legal battle for permission to take him for experimental treatment in America has captured worldwide interest. The courts ruled that the journey would cause Charlie pain and distress with no realistic hope of medical benefit. But this American family, whose son Arturito was born with a similar condition and was treated by the U.S. doctor offering to help Charlie, say there is still hope. They told my son that he will last for two months. And, and these experimental medicines have saved his life. Like, and we're very hopeful that they will save Charlie Gard's life. After last week's tweet from President Trump offering help, Charlie's family say the White House has now contacted them, the hospital and UK government. The Prime Minister said today doctors would consider any offers but have a difficult job to do. It's an unimaginable position for anybody to be in and I fully understand and appreciate that any parent in these circumstances will want to do everything possible to uh, and explore every option for their seriously ill child. But I also know that no doctor ever wants to be placed in the terrible position where they have to make such heartbreaking decisions. Even though Charlie's parents have raised the money to take him overseas, the courts have given the final say to the doctors, his story highlighting a medical ethics dilemma. We need a big conversation, first of all, about the factors that go into a best interests balancing exercise. Is it about life, the importance of life? Is it about quality of life? And secondly, about who we think should have a stake in making these decisions. Certainly parents to some extent, certainly doctors to some extent, judges might become involved. What about society at large? So big questions. Charlie's parents said today the support from the Pope and President has given them hope and that they will continue their fight. Peter Lane, 5 News.